Welcome into the PFF Prospect Profile. Today it's all about Maurice Hurst, the interior defensive lineman from Michigan, who, Mike, he's getting first round hype, but he's a guy who's 290 pounds, he's getting the undersized label, but for us, dominated our entire system and our number one interior defensive lineman. And from a grading standpoint in 2016, not only the number one offense, a defensive lineman, but also number one overall grade that we've ever given in four years of PFF college grading. Yeah, when your biggest knock on a defensive tackle is that he's undersized at 6'2", 290 pounds, what Maurice Hurst is, that's not really a knock in today's NFL anymore. The best two defensive tackles in the NFL, Aaron Donald, Geno Atkins, they're almost the exact same size. At that point, if the two best defensive tackles in the league can do it at that size, I have no real qualms about Maurice Hurst being that size as well. Especially the way he plays. We'll get into his strengths right now and his pad level and how he fires off the ball. With, with a guy like him who's 6'1", 6'2", that actually works to his favor. So, you know, what else does he do well besides the fact that in our grading, snap for snap, he is just winning far more snaps than anyone else. Yeah, he uses that size, 6'2", a little on the smaller end. He plays with probably the best leverage of any defensive tackle in this class. Offensive linemen are not getting underneath him, he's getting underneath them, which is a huge. So he's winning, he's moving the line of scrimmage consistently in the running game and pushing the pocket in the passing game. That sort of natural leverage that he has is rare, and that's why we think he's worth a top five pick. Yeah, especially in this draft, there's really not a whole bunch of interior defensive linemen who can create havoc mm -hmm. like Hurst. And again, you've mentioned those top guys. I'll even add guys like Mike Daniels out there as well. I mean, there are undersized, mm -hmm. undersized Tons defensive of tackles creating havoc all over the place. And, you know, some people have talked scheme fit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the team plays a 3-4, and you can't take a 3-4 uh, undersized guy. But that, that's not the NFL these days. Maurice Hurst is a scheme fit for everybody in the NFL. That's an old narrative. Every team needs a three technique. Yes. And w that's his perfect position. You line him up over the shoulder of the guard, let him attack in the backfield. If you're worried about run defense in today's NFL, guys holding up to double teams, you know, scheme fit, stuff like that, you're losing in today's NFL because the teams that realize that all you have to do is attack the passer, stop the pass, Jacksonville Jaguars is a perfect example. They don't, uh, they, they're putting Clayus Campbell at the nose tackle position you know, in some snaps a season ago. They don't care about run defense. All they cared about was rushing the passer, and they did that as well as anyone in the NFL, and that's why they had the best defense in the NFL. Maurice Stars can fit any scheme because every scheme needs a guy who can rush the passer from the interior. Yeah, so he does everything well as far as just not getting blocked, both mm -hmm. in the run game yeah. and as a pass rusher. He's been on our radar for a couple of years now, 2015 and 16. He was really more of a role player at Michigan. He was an 86.6 overall grade, 86.5 those two years. But those were in limited snaps. Yes. And we said, look, if you give this guy a full season of snaps, which he got in 2017, he can dominate. And that's when he put up that best ever grade. So we're talking across the board, pass rushing, run defense, anything else specifically that he does well. And then we'll try to highlight a few of his negatives. I was going to highlight the Michigan State and Indiana games from this year were two of the highest graded games we've give, ever given to a defensive tackle in our you know four years of grading. He absolutely, play for play, dominated, could not be blocked. So if you're looking for a lot of weaknesses, all they, all they really come is in the run game. It's the fact that he's under, a little tad undersized. Double teams is just harder to hold up when you're sub 300 pounds. And the fact that when you're not as tall, not as long, it's gonna, you're going to get swallowed up by offensive linemen at times. You're not going to be able to separate off blocks. You're going to give some two-way goes. But again, those are all in the running game. I, 2018, I could care less about the running Yeah, game. so our analytics guys are hammering this in our heads over and over again. It's all about rushing the passer and affecting the pass game. So just know there are a couple weaknesses in there. He's a little different from a guy like DeForest Buckner from a couple years ago who has those long limbs and yes. has a little bit more range uh, in the run game. But still, 13th in the draft class in run stop percentage last year at 10.4%. So he could still make those highest plays. Run grade. And highest run grade of any defensive tackles. In, in the way we're doing our run grade, it's not all about making tackles. It's yes. about disrupting plays and beating blockers. So overall, good run defender. But if you got to pick out those negatives, Probably the double teams, right? Yes. And, and maybe yeah. some awareness in the run game. But he even held up sometimes at nose tackle at Michigan. He played up and down that line, so he has a little diversity. If you're really terrified of playing him, uh, you know, of his sort of scheme diversity, you've already seen him do it at nose tackle a little bit and wasn't a liability by any means at Michigan. The one other thing we have to mention, he did get sent home at the uh, NFL Combine due mm -hmm. to a heart question mark. Yes. But, you know, he got, uh, I'm pretty sure all of those are clean behind recheck, him. Yeah. Yes, clean recheck, everything's That's fine. Good. Uh, so Maurice Hurst, he's getting first-round NFL hype, but we're calling him a top-five player. He is our top 
interior defensive player on the board. That is Maurice Hurst and his PFF player profile.